Richie, thanks for joining us and congratulations. Your team dug so deep to get that result. That, that's the word, dug deep. Heart, desire, determination, all of those words that are easy to say and so difficult to do. Um, I, think, I think over the Easter weekend you, you've seen a good mix of, of what we can do. We play flowing football against Scunthorpe and then we've, we've come here. We, I think we started the game really well. Um, I say really well, we got in... Listen, the, the, the space either side of, of Louis Reed is, is big when the ball turns over and we got into them areas we didn't quite make it count um, and then we've gone one nil we'll up and then obviously the sending off changes are everything really um, I think if you want to get a sending off you don't want it to happen on the Easter weekend with the game so close um, and then you don't want it to be against a team that you know can control the, the ball so much I thought before it was when it was 11 v 11 didn't it cause us any, any threat at all and then when it went to when we had 10 I didn't think he caused a threat in terms of actually making chances. I can only make, remember Viggs making a couple of saves in the second half. Um, once we, 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 we couldn't control the games in, ter- in terms of our, obviously, possession, um, but we didn't get the balance right of when to release a winger and, and they push the full-backs high and they spread you back for the full width of the pitch and they try and get runners, um, runners in between them gaps. We didn't shift across the pitch well enough. Um, we, I've, never seen, I've never faced a team that plays so many diag balls um, but they're effective with it um, and then we're obviously we're addressing that and we're just trying to bring Alex Mitchell on as that type of run that type of goal that we could maybe see coming um, they've scored with so um, so maybe we can react a little bit sharper next time but um, I think you've seen both sides so it's um, one free flowing and, and one we've had to dig deep and your players worked so hard because they were down to 10 men for 23 minutes. Hector Cipriano, make it 12 for the season now in terms of yellow cards. 23 minutes? Yeah, it's what really you sent off, wasn't it? So we've played with 10 men yeah. for 67 minutes then, yeah. plus seven minutes of injury time in the first half, plus six. So you're looking at more or less an 85-minute game with, with, um, with 10 men. But again, as long as you... And it's good for me, it's good for me because we get to learn different things. Um, we... So we've frustrated them, we've wasted time, we've done all that. We have to do that, we have to manage our game. It's up to them to break us down. You know, we've, we've come here to, to just be professional. Obviously, I want our lights running to get in the playoffs, but we've come here to do a job and be professional. And when we go down to 10 men, we have to manage the game as best we can, and we've done that, and then it's up to them, them to break us down. Any complaints about the yellow cards no, that Hector had? No. The first one was that he stopped a counter attack, and the second one, again, he's probably been coming with Hector because he's been on the verge of, he's, he's got booked quite a lot. He just needs to take two touches, open up, play back, play safe, and then we can get back into our, into our position. He takes three or four touches, the lad nicks it off him, and then it's... Um, but luckily it's happened today, because if it was in a bigger game, then I wouldn't be happy, but it's, good, it's a good learning. Uh, what about your yellow card, Richie? Listen, there's a scuffle down there. One Ben Garner sprints down. I haven't got a problem with that, because obviously all we're trying to do is... I was quite composed, I stood there, but then once it... it there was a second... Um, it happened again where he, so I walked down calm I pulled Shadrach away from the situation I walked back to me um, to me technical area and I get booked when I think more or less all the technical staff were there all of the I think it is what it is but um, yeah strange one talking about decisions should have had a penalty maybe maybe but again I, I thought the referee it was a difficult game today surprised with the intensity of the game um, but he's, he was in a little bit of needle in it which I don't think helped Swindon because obviously um we're holding on and we wanted that break in play and we wanted them free kicks but um, no it was a difficult 70 odd minutes because you're playing against a good football team that move it about Matt, the only thing that does benefit us is you slow the game down and you allow us to get back into shape all the time you were forced to make an early change in fact before the kick off yeah. what's the news on Tom's yeah Tom, Tom just pulled his groin I say pulled his groin he felt his groin so where we're at we don't need to risk anybody in, in terms of making anything more serious happen so yeah the sensible call was to um to pull Tom out and play out. I know my Beckles accepted both goals very well. Fantastic, two good finishes. I think he got a bit carried away in the second half when he tried to dribble out and he's thinking maybe a hat trick. Um, but for, for me, he was excellent. That's obviously a bonus, but his bread and butter, his head is his clearance, his defensive position with Shadrach, obviously, who rested Shad on, on, um, on Friday, but he's coming and done a sterling job. The supporters were right behind you. How does it feel to have your own song now? Um, no, listen, that's not important. What's important is we, we was under no pressure at all coming here. But I spoke to the players. We, we still have play with, with a responsibility. So they've paid their money to come and watch us. Um, and I have to say that if we're looking at one individual today that ep- epitomises everything that we want going forward, Aaron Drennan.
he's playing centre forward. He wants goals. Um, we've had to obviously move him on the right because we're down to ten men. The shift that he put in, both out of possession and, and working back, and then getting us up the pitch to his fouls and leaning into people and getting throw-ins. Um, our second goal comes from game management. Um, we have two or three throw-ins on the bounce and, and we score. Um, and I thought Aaron Junin was outstanding. Epitomised everything that we want. But you can include a lot of players in that. I just thought that Junin was the was the top one along with along with Pratt's, along with um, I thought Ethan was exceptional considering he's been out with with an illness. But yeah, he, I don't want to single. And, and I have to say, Vig's pulled. I, I keep saying I don't want to single players out, but no, I think it's important that we praise him. We did, we set demands on him, and then when they go out and they perform like that, and they, they come up with them demands, and you have to praise him. Can I sing out another one, Connor Wood? Outstanding. I, I, again, he, he's um, he's an experienced player at this at this level. He's played a lot of games for a big club in Bradford, which again brings its own pressures. So um, we have no worries about Connor. All my only question of Connor when I came to the club was why am I not seeing the Connor Wood at Bradford let's get back to it and, and he's done that You were talking about the squad not being big enough after a, a testing game like this is, is your views changing at all about the depth of the squad that you already have? Well I'm talking about winning the league and coming in the top three um, so therefore as a manager you're always greedy you want all these extra players um, what we've got to do again is finish the season and, and give the supporters belief and give players our players' belief, but also give potential signings that, you know, we're coming to the club because we're looking up. Um, we've come in, we've turned things around and we want to take that into next season. I don't want to finish this really, season really good, go into it and then we don't have a good summer and then, and then we're starting on the back foot. And what positions are you looking to strengthen? Oh, I'm not going to tell you that, no chance. That's a cheeky little under the belly, that one. I'm not going to tell you anything. Can I ask... In terms of the number of yellow cards that are being picked up this season, late yeah. Norwich's record one of the worst in the division. Is that something that you're concerned about and would want to address? It's not something that I've, I've thought about until you just told me. Um, I think it's a fine line. I think if you look at our booking today, stopping counter-attacks, breaking the game up, Theo at times can be a little bit petulant, but that's something that he, he needs to learn. He's, he's starting to get experience enough to know, know better than that. Omar picks up a few bookings but I don't mind that because I'm going to find all my £200 which might get me a nice free meal out with my wife so um, no I, it might cost you down the line so for example if, if, if Omar I think he's one or two away he's, he's two away so if he gets two more bookings he misses the first two games of that season so if he gets booked in the next game he won't play in the last two we can't afford that risk so further down the line it might cost us but it's not something that has been I want us to be aggressive. I want us to be horrible to play against. I want us to play football. But you have to have that, that nasty streak to you, and I think we've got that. And finally, for me, any injuries other than Thompson's? No, Tomo, and, and then obviously you've looked at our shape at the, at the end of the game. We have to go 5-4 and, and let Conroy and let Reed just pass it in front of us and close the gaps because we're leggy. We've played a lot of, t- a lot of time with, um, with 10 men and we don't think that, that apart from Diag's, the only way that they're going to score, which they did, is run us through their defence. So if you put five across, obviously it, them, it makes them gap smaller and allows to fill that. I'm just gutted that I didn't make the sub a couple of minutes early because we would have kept a clean sheet. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.